Hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check out my newest album, Kwang Woo Puer Eternos, at StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. And some come see me live on tour <laughs> in San Antonio, Texas, Louisville, Kentucky, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Petersburg, Florida for a special Scissor Bros Live and Stand Up on the Spot. Woo! Also, you can see me in Springville, Utah, Tacoma, Washington, Oxnard, California, and Huntington Beach, California. Get tickets to JeremiahWatkins.com and get that new Scissor Bros merch shirt. Woo! Let's get into this episode of Scissor Brothers. Brothers. Do you pick your butt? Do you do you do you pick butt crust out of your butt at all? I don't have butt crust. Are you I- sure? Scissor Brothers. I like your your what, whatever you got going with your style. I like what you got going on there. It's for you guys. Yeah, is that for yeah. us? It's for you guys. You know. Where could I get a pair of pants like that? From are they carpenter? I guess they are. Yeah, they're out carpenter pants. See, they mm-hmm. got a little loop in here. Yeah, they, oh, and that's dude. for the hammer. For the hammer, hammer loop. Yeah. Can I guess what kind those are? Sure. I'll guess, then you guess. Okay. Are we recording. Those are. Hey, I, when, this is how we do. This, I, we know, just, I we know. Might, we might. We just. We might be. We might not be. You know what? We yeah. might. But we you just, know what? We love you here, though. You know what? Yeah. Huh. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna guess. Those are car hearts. No. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Those are off a. Teddy bear. <laughs> oh, be serious. Be serious. <laughs> a train conductor teddy bear in 1984. No? Those, are, those are Dickies. I can't guess. They're no, Dickies. not Dickies, no. I think they're Levi. Mm-mm. Those are Ben Davis. No, this is it's some designer. Are those Ben and Jerry's? Yeah. Todd Snyder. There you Todd go. Snyder. Oh, there oh the go. good Todd. Get the late today. Todd Snyder. Get your Get Todd, Todd Snyder. Snyder's today, baby. Yeah. Todd, send me some stuff. Yeah. I love your, I love your yeah. stuff, Todd. Yeah. Okay, guess yeah. where he got these cl- classes from? Uh, uh, Spirit Halloween. I've, on the ground. On well, the ground at Spirit <laughs> Halloween? Um, I, I mean, don't sure. I don't, I don't even know where he got them. They were probably from Spirit Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're yeah. probably from uh, like a like an elementary school thing, like a function. Dude, he's you know? getting warmer. That's I'm what they no, I'm going to take them off. Why? They look they good go on you. The episode. What I do you mean? Them. They do? I dig them. They don't. Okay, they're not like. I mean, intrusive. you guys have a thing where you kind of don't have to worry about that, right? Yeah. Have you seen our stuff, man? Yes, I have. I came prepared. Yeah. I'm like, did you, know, you? What What have you seen so far? What's your what, what, What's your impression of like what we do here? That you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever That's you want. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what I like to hear. So if you have a fart, dude. Dude, I wish fart I had a fart. I'd have to be so relaxed, laying yeah, on my but, stomach, and have to be like a Sunday morning. Okay, yeah, well, let's never. hope that we can get I you never there. Fart. Yeah. What, yeah. Are, you yeah. what are you drinking on there? I'm having a little Americano from Starbucks. See, I like them already. And I, I, know. I got this about three hours ago, and it's still almost too hot to drink. Really? Yep. Wow. He, that's my drink. Is it really? Americano? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Dude, Americano. People I thought it was Coriano. Cortado. Come on, Cortado. man. Give it in there. Come on, yeah, man. Give it, give it in there. Give it in there. Also, <laughs> comedian's timing for you guys. <laughs> okay, you also macchiato, that guy, too? Um, well, first, um, not a, not explain what Americano is. Into Americano the... is espresso and hot water. Mm-hmm. And it's the ultimate coffee drink because if you want to taste coffee that someone spent a lot of time on roasting, procuring, growing, doing all these things, pulling the shot in a in a way that's been designed to do. That's how you taste the coffee the best because it extracts the coffee, it thins it out through the water so you get to taste it all, taste everything. And it's the ultimate way to drink really, really good coffee, really, really good espresso. It, you should have an Americano or uh, a shot of espresso, but the shot's so strong. I think Americano is the best because it, it's like it's like if you have a color black, right? And you, you dilute the black, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, that's purple. Or that's blue, or that's green, because it's just condensed. And so you get to taste the the essence of it is thinned out, and you get to really taste it. And I'm talking about Starbucks right now. Mm-hmm. So now, like, big question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you get it with the classic two shots, or do you dilute it to one shot? I just order it as is, which I think is two shots. It's two shots. Yeah, I, I used have, to I work have, there. Yeah, well, yeah. If the thing is, um, I because I love Starbucks. I'm going to throw you a curveball, too, okay. right now. I love Explain you know, I love, to I love them it. what a... A dirty, dirty chai, chai latte is. 
Dirty chai latte is a chai latte with a shot of espresso. Bingo bongo. Wow, bongo. so you know your stuff. I guess. Does that know yeah. my stuff? That's not that big what a deal. What are the it? seasonal changes that Starbucks adds to their menu? See, I'm not a big Starbucks guy. Well, I'm not. I like Starbucks, but I don't know Starbucks. Do you like my Starbucks wife knows napkins? Starbucks. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead, dude? Yeah, Evidently not. I don't have any. Well, why don't you tell them what I do then, if you're going to take it there? <laughs> you a napkin man? Go on, tell, tell John. <gasps> Let him know. Wow, this Steve is so intimate. sometimes will walk into Starbucks. What do you mean sometimes? All the time. <laughs> All the time. He grabs a fistful of napkins and walks out like a crazy person. But how do you do that now? Because now they it's like a pull. You pull one to get one. So now you have to do this. If you want a fistful of napkins, you got to go yeah. like that, you know? I'm the napkin guy. Oh, you should see my glove box. You you got these? Oh, I'm, it's like a like a fat wad, like you know. See, he's like me. Yeah. Yeah. So why are you? L- Wait. So you're both napkin guys. We're napkin guys. Maybe Johnny's- we should sing a song <laughs> yeah. about I am napkin, a napkin guys. guys. Johnny's I, I a always, napkin guy. Okay. If I, when they give you one napkin someplace, uh, what am I gonna do? With just one napkin. I'm out of toilet paper at the moment And I've got no paper towels Go ahead, Johnny. But open up my glove box and look inside You'll see a bunch of brown little things rolled up Ready to ride Take napkins from Starbucks As many as I can carry, bitch I take napkins from Starbucks And would do it even if I was rich Just a couple napkin guys Living their best life Cleaning up the spills I make Going everywhere with out a fork and knife because all they need is a sweet, 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 sweet napkin. Not a sanitary napkin, that's for something else. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not for me. <laughs> napkin. I told you Beauty. he was gonna have a good vibe today. I know, I know, I love it. I, love it. I knew he was gonna he was gonna step it up. I no, love thank music, you, Johnny. Love singing. Thank you. Now, something that we do on this show that the people right. love at home is we do scissors, and um, it's we we cross our arms like okay. this across our chest, and basically it elicits positivity and cancels out the negativity in the air. This right? does. Uh huh. You and you count out loud while you do it. This is a scissor. One. Good. So we Two. do that with our guests. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to participate, then you're more than welcome. So right now, I just do it. Mm-hmm. Come okay. on, Johnny. One, One two, two, three, four. Go, Johnny. Five, six, six seven, 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 Johnny. Eight, eight, eight go. Ten, nine, ten, ten Johnny. Eleven, <laughs> twelve, Johnny. Thirteen, fourteen, Johnny. Fifteen. Oh, he's 16, doing the legs too. Johnny. Seventeen, eighteen, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, Johnny. Nineteen, twenty, 20 Johnny. Twenty-one, Johnny. Twenty-six. How long? Yeah, that okay. was great. I hope you guys were doing that uh, at home along with us. Is there? When you kept saying Johnny, I like I like Johnny better than John because you know, like some of my favorite movies, like Do It for Johnny. Remember, like well, Johnny's a, Johnny is a very John, '80s name. Yeah, too. Well, no, no, I think Johnny is more even more timeless, right? Like, yeah, Johnny, I guess like, so. I mean, John is Johnny just, Appleseed. Johnny so, Appleseed. Yeah. yeah. Johnny from Cobra Kai. Johnny, yeah, do it for oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. Yeah. You know? Then he was the, outside, the bad guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you like that movie? I haven't seen it in, I don't know how long. Maybe thirty years, probably. The original. Yeah. So did you see it in the movie theater or just on uh, VHS? Oh, I definitely did not see it in the movie theater. No. Uh, on VHS? or Because that was a long time ago. I may have seen it on VHS. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like to say you've seen something in VHS. Yeah. Like, I, I still d- have a VCR inside. Oof. I date, I have, well, I have a uh, 
TV VCR combo in our kitchen. Oh, Ooh, that's old school. Love yeah, that shit, man. dude, that's great. You're in there cooking. And you put on like a tape. Yeah, oh. and you have it playing in the background. Yeah, that is that a Midwest thing? You think? I think it is. You know this guy named Old Time Hockey. He's on like TikTok. He's mm. some Canadian guy with a huge beard, and he makes like. He talks super close to the mic and makes like comfort foods yeah. and puts on a movie. He's got like, two really cute dogs. Yeah. It's all like, what's that ASMR thing? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we don't say that around here. Really? We try to do one ASMR episode and they hate it. We did an ASMR oh, did? episode yeah. and entirely ASMR and people lost their minds. Why don't, why don't you and Johnny try to do another one? No, thank you. <laughs> but also ASMR is so subjective. Yeah. Oh, no, some people I, love it or it drives other people right, crazy. Also, I think that what we think is ASMR, a lot of people that doesn't work for them as ASMR, but there's certain things for me that work as ASMR and they're really weird. Like it's what? It's like someone like a cer- with a certain tone of, tone of voice explaining like how plumbing works. Oh. Like a regular guy. Like just someone like, uh, like a random person will be... I don't know how to describe it, but it's no, a thing I where that's relaxing about. to yeah, you. It's relaxing to you. Once in a while, I get it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting like like Luke Skywalker right now by yeah. a fucking contractor because he's talking about And you something. can sleep peacefully that way? It's not sleeping. It's like I'll be standing there and all of a sudden I'll feel, oh, oh, oh so what else about the the way the windows are cocked? Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, you got these, uh, d- you got double Dutch uh, ding dong whistles here. You want to always re-inhibit that uh, exosan thing because you don't want to have a, a leak permeation for this liner lock and that's going to be a thing. But you know, I got the, you got a great setup here. So it's, it's like yeah. all that sort of thing. It, it calms you down. Me. Like, how does it make you feel? Calm? Is it calm? So real calm. Yeah. Real like, oh, really? Okay, you got this, huh? Sure. You got right. this. How much what? do I need to spend? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's what I always say. That's my my thing is um, everything's a scam, but it's like, mm-hmm. do you want to either enjoy getting scammed or do you want to like be miserable and save like mm-hmm. 50 bucks? Yeah. Give us an example of a scam. Um, like I would a, say a, any type of home scam. improvement whatsoever. So literally um, anything like anything. a roofing thing, like if they want oh, to patch your, your ceiling up or something, anything that involves roofing. repairing something at a home, mm-hmm. toilet, like if you're trying to fix your toilet or something. Oh yeah, those guys are those guys are all even crackheads. moving. If you move, yep, scam. your stuff. Oof. What do you, What do you mean by that? It, it's expensive. I, might have, I have to might have to move soon. In what year? Pretty soon. You think so? Yeah. I'm starting to think that it's not going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. You think so? Do you want to move or you have no, to No, they, they they sold my building uh, to another management company. How recently? Uh, in the last, I would say, a year or so. It's been a year. Yeah, it's been Already. a year. You might be, you might, I've heard, a, I have a bunch of friends that's happened to and they're just like, it's been five years, I'm still waiting for the payout. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's, and then uh, they, a tree fell over and almost hit one of the cars. Damn. And so before coming here, there was a couple guys like with the chainsaw oh. and like, oh, like wow. cutting it in half. I'm like, chainsaws are a scam. Is that a scam I don't too? Know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was Probably. Just yeah. Ideal situation. If would they, if you could stay there, would you stay there another five? Well, the thing is, I have a rent control, Johnny. So Oh, um, you got to take advantage. Yeah. It's really very cheap for me. Not a scam. Yeah. No. So you're from Minnesota, huh? Yeah, that's where I grew up. Cause me and my brother lived yeah. there too. Uh, can that's I tell? I you, can I throw the town and tell? And then see go if ahead. You, talk if you, about Minnesota all you wish. Edina. Edina. I've been up there. We 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 spent plenty of piece of time around Edina. Really? Oh hell yeah! And go then on. then we do you play ice hockey? Uh, I tried. I fool. I played around a bit with it when I was a child. Yes. I did. <laughs> And the, the Copenhagen, like yeah, at the oh skull Copenhagen, yeah. you gotta get a dip in. If you get on the ice, you gotta be dipping. You gotta be. Down the alley. You got oh, yeah. spitters. You got an empty sprite bottle. I can spit into. Oh, you dip, dude. That's for real, dude. Oh, he there's does. no spit though, Johnny. He swallows. You swallow. There's there's nothing. It's like coffee to me. You're Narnar. That's Narnar right there. That's Narnar Even Binks. from a guy from Minnesota? Dude, that's true Minnesota. Narnar. Yeah, Binks. all the guys I knew would be like, you got spitters, bro? You know, it's like, mm-mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got, you know, I took a bunch yeah. of that uh, beach knot with my dad and got so all So did they peer up. pressure you with this, Johnny? Actually, no. I never got peer pressured with uh, tobacco in high school. What no. about alcohol? Uh, no, actually, no. But, I, you know, I peer pressured myself, really. I think I was like really just steadfast in doing what I wanted to do back then. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel, I never felt any peer pressure at all, really, for real. But then I eventually was like, oh, I want to drink. And I did. And I I tried chewing tobacco. I was like, oh, this is terrible for me. Yeah. Do you purchase alcohol 
currently ever? Yeah, sometimes. Not do you, for, do I you get, a lot do you get less carded? Uh, not usually. I get car- I get carded in if places where I don't live. I feel like if you go to like any sort of city where people visit, like if you go to San Diego, I was in San gotcha. Diego mm-hmm. and I got carded in San Diego. I, I was at like a, a yakitori place at 11 p.m. after the show, just the other night, and I was like, "You guys are carded, me? Okay, you know, happy yeah. to happy to card show you my ID, person who is much younger than me." Right. <laughs> yeah. Are you? What's your uh, drink of choice? I don't know. I like beer, I think. I just like beer. What kind of beer do you like? I like... Um, Can we do the guessing game, me and Jeremiah? Go for it. You go first. Mm. I'm going to say Stella. Ooh, I like Stella, but I, don't, it's not, I wouldn't choose it if I had it to choose any beer. Mm. Heineken? No. White Claw. Ooh, no. I do uh, like White Claw tea, though. Um, What about Miller Lite? Yeah. I yeah? like it, all right. I like it. I don't love it, but I, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, you do another one. He just said he liked it. I know, but there's probably one that he really likes. Bud Light? No. I drank a lot of Bud Light, though, back in the day. But I, I feel like I drank so Natty much Light. of it. Ugh. Oh, no, I got one for you. Keystone. Not a fan. That's too thin. Mm. Miller Genuine Draft. I like that a lot. But you never see it. MGD, baby. MGD is great. There you go. Yeah. Now... The, you, the way you keep saying Johnny, now this I is... I don't know why. No, 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 no. It's He's the way you're like, saying it. Listen, listen, like, one what? second, one second. The way you're saying Johnny is eliciting a memory in my head, but I don't remember. It's like a cartoon or something where... Is there an Asian guy and a white guy in a cartoon where the lead character is named Johnny? Gosh. <laughs> There's got to be now. Am I, am I going crazy here? Why don't you do your Chinese Johnny voice? I am not <laughs> doing that. No, just do it for the camera. No, okay. no, 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 no. Johnny, no. do it for the camera, <laughs> Jeremiah. Camera. Do it, do it. Do it for Ryan, the camera. Is there, uh, is there a cartoon or something where there's like, it's Johnny, Johnny something. Johnny Angel? No. Johnny Jack Jim? It's only Johnny Tsunami, but that's not a cartoon. Johnny Bravo? Was it Johnny Bravo? Could be. I don't remember Johnny Bravo too well. But is there an Asian guy in that cartoon? What, why does he have to be Asian? Is there specific, I'm getting a core memory unlocked and he goes, here. Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> oh my God. Johnny. There's like an Asian yeah, guy that's going Johnny. But so there's something like, about him. There's a familiar thing about him. He's got like a nostalgic vibe to he's him. He's a timeless energy. He's a timeless guy. Yeah. Like I could see him totally in like a Corn Brothers movie. Like he's got like that Fargo kind of like this timeless Corn Brothers vibe to me. I have an old... Not old looking, but I have like a face that looks like it's not like a new face. Yeah, yeah. like it could be from the sixties or something. Yeah. yeah, that's a classic like a look. Yeah, I look like a guy who would like you know, be like a recruit for the CIA in the sixties kind of yeah. thing. You know? Oh yeah, Do you, you get that? My, yeah, I used to have my hair cut a lot different than this. I used to have like high and tight haircut, mm-hmm. and then when I had like that, I looked like you know, I looked like a fucking like a guy who'd be in Vietnam, like some brat who gets yeah. mowed down. Yeah. There you go. yeah. 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 What is the would you say the youngest role that you played cuz you played it in a lot of different TV and movies. Yeah. Stuff. That's What's the youngest a... role you think you've played and the oldest role you think you played like on screen. Well, you know, time moves forward. Yeah. And so it's like as time goes on, mm-hmm. it's like you might did what's the most disparity between my current actual age and the character I played? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Probably the greatest disparity I think was probably Son of Zorn. And that was because yeah. I was, I was supposed to be playing a high school student, and I definitely was thirty something. Gotcha. Yeah, Whoa. that's pretty good. I guess, but that's that's kind of normal too. Justin Long has that kind of career too. He does have that. Yeah, he's played. Um, you know, he's a guy that doesn't age very much. Yeah, I think actually a lot of actors don't really age. A lot of actors look the same for about twenty to thirty years. They just play a higher, a slightly younger version or a slightly older version of that bandwidth you know mm-hmm. like especially with guys with men it's like you either look like a dad or you look like um someone who's like dating this the daughter you the know guy next mm-hmm. door or you, yeah and most most character actors are like 
they have like a bandwidth and you always see them like someone like Wilford Brimley, right? He's been acting for a long time, but he's always been playing the same character. And you can't, he hasn't been a grandpa for 30 years, but he has been. There's so many character right. actors who look That's interesting, like, yeah. because just with, uh, there's a lot of those guys the Coen brothers use. I can't think of some of their names right now, but they all have always played sort of like a vague 40s, 50s uncle type character. Is that like a Steve Buscemi maybe? No? I feel like he's one, but I think I'm more like lesser known people. Right. I'm just not good. seen, but you just don't know their names. People you would immediately be like, oh, that guy. You know, immediately. Like like Powers Booth or like... uh, Mm -hmm. um, Like the dad from uh, Family Matters. He played cops randomly. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mm -hmm. Not close. Carl Winslow Carl is his Winslow. character name, but right. I forget his. Um... Yeah, great name. He's great. Yeah, all those, so many guys like that. They just like exist in a period of time where they never, they just they just stay in it. And at some point, you become a grandpa. But a lot of times, yeah. you're just like you're like a dad age. What about the thing. guy? Remember um, Rambo: First Blood, the sheriff in the town. No. Okay, because because he I saw him in other movies too. I'm like, oh, he's a character no. guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of a guy who's for sure we know his name. What's the guy from Sling Blade? You know, uh, the guy from the beginning of Sling Blade who's like talking to Billy Bob Thornton's character, talking to Carl. Be like, I like a girl with, uh, with arm hair. His name is, uh, God, he died. He's like the greatest character actors ever. Well, he's Ryan, a super. Why would you look that up real quick? Because we're talking He about... uh, was in, God, what's his name? What, dude, this is interesting. <laughs> Yeah. This is the cool Ryan's cool show. doing his taxes. Yeah, yeah. He's not even listening <laughs> yeah. to the conversation. Welcome yeah, yeah. to. He's not Googling yeah. anything. He's just like. Mm, dun, 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 no, but dun, that's dun. commendable. Like, you know, because you can make a career doing character work. Oh, yeah. You, you can kind of be career. in the cut and still get a lot of work, but you're not like a household name yet. Yeah. You know, but then you're still getting work throughout the years. That's not a bad gig. I think it's uh, uh, exceptional. There's yeah, people who. Cause, there's a lot of people who, you know, have a wonderful life and they're. It's stunningly incredible actors, but yeah. they just never are playing a lead. But also, they're they're indispensable to the story because a lot of those people, they have to do more because if you have something think about someone like the center of the wheel as the lead, they don't you don't well, you don't want them doing a whole lot because they it becomes distracting. There shouldn't be too much of a character. Mm. If you think about that, like any kind of big movie or show, usually this the lead is kind of. Not super exciting, dynamic. A lot of times the lead is the most boring <clears throat> Exactly. Part. Yeah. And everything mm-hmm. else is like added on to it. Because think about like like uh, Deadwood, right? Like Timothy Oliphant's character is pretty boring. And he doesn't like do mm-hmm. a lot of crazy stuff. But he's surrounded by all these super colorful, amazing actors. That So it works. And it's, it's why it works is because he's not super colorful. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. To be just, what, what got you into the whole um, business? Like, when did you start acting and doing all that? Like, as, like professionally, I don't know. I think I just yeah. like just little by little, I had like some tiny little role, mm-hmm. like fifteen years ago or something like that, for some show that I think you probably can't even watch now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was just like you know, little by little, because I, I was t- I was taking an improv class right when I started stand up at the same time, mm-hmm. and it was like a thing where uh, a lot of these casting directors would just. Everybody who's who's on like the UCB improv mm-hmm. roster, they come in. We'll, we'll see everybody mm-hmm. who like fits. Every, everybody, every man under forty, will bring them in, and we'll just read them for this little tiny role because they want like improvisers. Right. I think right. a lot of times they would also bring people in. They still probably do this. They bring people in to improvise so they can be like, okay, thank you, and they take the, what you said and it goes into the script. Yeah. That happens a lot. Really? It happens yeah. all the time. It's been happening forever. Yeah. It's like the kind of thing where you, people get mad about it. We're like, oh, wait. I've well. seen one of my lines uh, that I riffed end up in a commercial. And Absolutely. And they didn't book me on. I was like, don't. Mm. Isn't that pleasure? pleasure no, it's not because you, you sign a thing that says like they can yeah. do whatever they want. Really? Yeah. yeah. It sucks. Oh, Because wow. you didn't write it. Yeah, and You're also just coming you up with it. Yeah, you don't work You don't work for them. And that audition oh. is, uh, is like their property, basically. But you know they got it from you. Yeah, you, you totally. You just know. You know it. Yeah, you know it. Every time I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> that make you mad? I was like, uh, really? Yeah. You're going to do it? It'd be that? nice to get a little bit of uh, credit. A little, a little something, yeah, something. Little. But they'd have to acknowledge they did it then. Yeah, and then that's oh, not happening. Oh, then they could be You like, know, oh. SNL has stolen whole sketches. No. They've stolen whole sketches in the last couple of years from YouTubers. Like, literally just been that's like... That's messed whoop. up. Really? 100%. Premises, whole premises? The whole sketch, almost everything, almost word for, not word for word, but like, it's the kind of thing where... Changing slightly enough. 
not even changing it that much at all. You know the Birthday Boys? Those guys, they had a, a show on IFC Network like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had an entire sketch lifted by SNL. It was one of those things where, you know, because it's not a very big community, you know? It's, it's pretty, everyone oh, yeah, knows each other. Yeah, for sure. So it's the kind of thing where the people who, everyone's watching the same thing. Yeah, so that's the writers just going do, going on YouTube and just stealing it? Or it's like some person in the writer's room maybe um, mentioning a sketch. Everyone's hanging out, they mention it, and someone who's less acquainted with those people maybe is like they write. I don't I don't know. It can happen a thousand ways, I guess. But Game of telephone quickly yeah. turns into, you know. Especially uh, if something if someone likes it, like higher-ups, producers like it a lot. They want to figure it's out like, a oh, way Oh, no, to... that's not, we can't do that. It's like, uh, to, you guys, you guys... Uh, uh, said it so we like it we're gonna use it mm. you, know, you can't like take something away from someone once they when they smell it yeah hey gerald uh, so gerald is our giraffe right here <laughs> um i have a, a a we sometimes talk to him and he talks right. back to us um gerald, gerald what do you think of uh johnny's scent um i feel like he's trying to appropriate and smell like a giraffe well i i didn't put on any cologne or anything because I, I just didn't know I would be so close to you. I mean, I did know I was going to be so close to you. I just didn't think about... Honestly, I, I was inconsiderate. I'm sorry. I thought as an animal, you would prefer a more natural smell. Because sometimes when I walk by people and they have sort of like a strong smell, I'm like, oof, I would like to just smell some BO. So I figured that um, you will be the same way as me because uh, you're an animal and I'm an animal and I live outside and... I just thought that we would agree on that. Um, um, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know uh, my fault for assuming, but I really love the way you smell. Thank you. Johnny, do you have any uh, questions for Gerald? <clears throat> yeah, Gerald. Uh, how's that second brain? What the fuck? I don't even know what this guy's smoking. Oh, second heart. Is it a second brain? I don't know. I... I Gerald, I don't know. Sometimes I feel a second heartbeat in my big old fatch long. Um, Johnny, do you have any questions for uh, Terrence the Tree here? Terrence the Tree. Yeah, Terrence, because we're neglecting him a little Terrence, bit. Terrence, is now a good time for me to plug my uh, upcoming dates in Chicago? Thank you. Please feel free. Is it, Terrence? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I extend my branch of promotion. Sorry, Terrence. I'll be yes. in Chicago in February at the Den. Okay, I'm doing going. a whole run of shows for my, so my solo show. Minnesota Reggae Colostomy Bag. You can come see it in Chicago at the Den. The f- well, Terrence wants to know how you get tickets. You get tickets, uh, go to johnnypemberton.dog or go to my Instagram, which is just Johnny Pemberton. Spell it out, the last name. Johnny please. underscore Pemberton, P-E-M-B-E-R-T-O-N. Or you can go to johnnypemberton.dog, mm-hmm. which is my name, dot dog, and that's my actual website. Mm-hmm. Or you can go to youtube.com slash justmynipples and watch videos about it there. 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th in Chicago, Illinois at the Den. Yes. Minnesota Reggae Colostomy Bag. My special one-person show that is... I don't have, I don't hold a mic. It's it's That's like that. Great. It's one of those kind of things. It's one of those things? Yeah. It's one of those things. You have a lav mic on? Or do no, you have a headset? Just, just, you just go... I might have a little, a little headset. Yeah, mm. right? One of the little ones? Yeah. Mm. One of the little like Billy Connolly style. Yes. Yeah. You, you don't have any questions for Terrence? Well, he, he asked him if he could plug the, yeah. the dates. But if, if you have another one, that's but fine. But do you have a question for Terrence? Terrence, do you feel uh, undervalued as a fig ficus in this current climate zone? We all feel undervalued at times, but we must leave those who do not root for us in the long term of life. Okay, I hope that sufficed. It's, yeah. very, it's very nuanced, to be mm-hmm. honest. I, I mm-hmm. just didn't expect... Uh, Again, it's not that I didn't expect. It's not what I meant. I didn't sound like saying, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tree for of sure. knowledge. Tree of knowledge. Would mm-hmm. you say that you are a frugal person or do you think that you <laughs> are a kind of guy who's willing to spend kind of willy-nilly at your disposal? I'm pretty frugal. Really? Yeah. I think he's one of us. I know. I think he's one of us. Give us yeah. an example. Is there something that you do that you might be like, uh, some people might consider that a frugal thing that I do? Well, the nap- napkins are actually, I think napkins are more of like a, you just want to have napkins because... If you spill something on your I car. I spill a lot. Yeah. I I spill all the time. I'm a big spiller. Do you get a runny nose too? I mean, when your nose... Is yeah, really but I'm more of a spiller. It's just like a... <laughs> What are you laughing at? This is like a that's thing like, Johnny, we're trying to find out if you do Johnny. cocaine recreationally. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Uh, that's for napkins. 
<laughs> Napkins coming to play. Well, like, hey, uh, does your nose ever run? <laughs> hey, uh, you ever got a problem with something with your body? Hey, uh, <laughs> you ever have a, it's called like wax in your ears? You ever feel like a fluid coming out of you that you don't want coming out? <laughs> Do you ever need to pee your pants, but then you're like, there's a toilet right over there, I might as well go? Do you ever shit? And then finish the job and then start driving for 20 minutes and realize you got a lot more inside of you that needs to come out now. Do you ever pluck a hair and you're like, that's not just ingrown, that's outgrown. Do you ever have, go to a doctor to have a, a large mole removed and on the way home realize, oh, that was not a mole, that was a nipple. And then you got blood. Uh, do you ever have a hard booger in your nose? And you, it, it, it hardens like a calcified rock, and uh, yeah. you, you, you stick your pinky finger in your nose, but but there's blood attached to the booger. Ooh. I'm sorry. I ruined your guys' There's blood improv. attached to the booger. I ruined your guys' improv. I didn't want to get involved. You guys were on a roll. Dude, I'm I sorry, liked it. sorry, Johnny. This reminds what's that song? Uh, there's, uh, when the bullet hits the bone. Oh, yeah. When the blood hits the booger. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Do you ever um, eat your boogers at all still? No, I don't. Do you? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> but could you imagine if I said yes yeah, to that? Yeah, day? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Do um, you pick your butt? Do you do you do you pick butt crust out of your butt at all? I don't have butt crust. Are you I, sure? Yeah. Okay. I, I clean my. I'm very clean down there because it's like I go to the bathroom a lot. Baby wipes or toilet paper? Uh. I think I use I use toilet paper with I put like a, a special cleansing lotion on there. Whoa! Yeah. Frugal Brothers strike again with that. Okay. Yeah, but that's because I have I have bowel issues. So you do. Yeah, I have um, I have I used to have colitis, and now I have pouchitis. What What's is, that? What is that? It's a uh, inflammatory bowel disease. Yeah. Huh. Oh, really? And what does that entail? It entails uh, going to the bathroom frequently, sometimes with urgency, and oftentimes with uh, like just it's not consistent. Like I don't, I don't have a large intestine. I have my colon removed. Oh, it's gone. Like I, so I'm food told. goes through. It just goes through. Yeah. Um, sort of, but just not not right through. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's been this way for most of my life. So it's not like oh, a big wow. deal. So how often do you shit? Just depends, but probably at least four or five times a day. Damn! Yeah. Really? It's not a big deal, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, so really you just not. got used part to of it. Life. Yeah, it's part yeah, of life. Okay. I don't have to run to the bathroom. I uh, used to. And you're, I... and then you're fit. You get, you know, yeah. you could tell because, yeah, you get yeah. rid of it. Yeah. Felt. I'm fucking yeah. keep it, keep yeah. it right, keep it tight. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Do you poop a lot? No, probably w twice a day, once or twice a day. That's good, though. That's normal. That's good. Is it? Yeah, that's normal. There's people who don't poop like but once a week, and that is not healthy. What is it? Why can't they go? Why can't they do it? Because they have a problem. It with just their intestines and yeah, their diet or their yeah. exercise or yeah. Are you anything. on a strenuous diet? Like what do you what do you what do you? No, no, no I just don't eat a lot of stuff. But I, it's like you garden though, yeah. I do. You yeah, do. You're a gardener. a gardener. I like to. I love it. I really do. It's kind of been a huh. on and off the last year or so because I've been out of town a lot. But what do you uh, what do you garden? Right now, I'm growing some cilantro and parsley. Really? And some, I started some spinach seedlings, and I have some peas and some radishes. Nice. Silly question. And chives, chives. The yes. cilantro and the parsley, do you yeah. have to separate when you like from the other stuff because it's they're so potent? No. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I, I think, just, uh, because uh, I am a no-no guy on cilantro. You are? Parsley, yeah. very little. And onions. You can have a little, little bit of parsley. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Onions got to be careful with, too. Yeah. You don't like onions at all. He doesn't like it, yeah. They have to be very cooked. I had yeah, Ethiopian I food me, recently me that I was like, I they never were very eat. cooked, and I was like, I can handle these. Yeah, I don't eat raw onions. I do not eat them at all. It's, I don't taste anything else. I just taste that thing, and I'm it's like, too it's sharp. ruining. Yep. What about garlic? Raw garlic? No? Oof. I like garlic. Mm -hmm. I don't know about raw garlic, but... Okay, yeah. But raw garlic adds so much flavor. Garlic? I grow garlic, too. I a lot of garlic. Oh, nice. During yeah. the pandemic, I grew like fucking... I must have harvested about 50 bulbs of garlic. Really? Yeah, at four different types too. It was That's incredible. Great. I was like, I was very proud of that. The yeah. garlic. It's easy to grow garlic too. How'd you learn how to do that, man? Like, just like trial and error over a long time. Yeah. Like for real. Like most people, like you can't look up anything online about gardening. It's yeah. ridiculous. You look it up, and it's all this weird information. Everyone lives different places, so they tell you like, oh, you do this here. It's like, but you live in New York, so right. This mm -hmm. doesn't apply to my totally soil different. or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. God, my grandpa used to yeah garden a lot. Um, really? Yeah, he had these awesome tomatoes that we'd make BLTs out of. Nice. Ooh, 
Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. good BLT. Yeah. Oh, God, you yeah. Oh. Wait, what'd you have? What did he grow? He grew tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Yeah. What did he grow? Well, he grew a lot of different things in the uh, in the garden. There's some fruits, there's some vegetables, uh, but one of the stars of the show was the tomatoes. What would you make with the tomatoes? Some BLTs. <gasps> Yeah, we put pepper and salt uh, on those yeah. things. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we put some lettuce. Sometimes uh, you grow the lettuce in the, in the back of the I too. love BLT so much. Me too. I want big one right now. Fan. Dude, yeah. a BLT. I want one right now. A BLT is like the most perfect God. thing of all time. Yeah. Yeah. The most you perfect. Toast the bun. Everything about it. Are you a BLT guy or a BBL guy? BLT. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the BBL. Hey, do we got any frugal? Um, we have a segment called Frugal Tips. Okay. Oh where yeah. Where people um they email us and it's like right down your alley. Okay, Frugal Tips. Well, yeah. You um, go ahead. Go ahead. You don't want to save every cardboard box you get, and put it in your garage and just have it be there for years, <laughs> and until you have to um break them all down one day in a fit of rage. That's the thing. Uh, that's a frugal tip. Oh, ooh, actually, oh, I got a good one. I got a real good one. This is for real, guys. This is like, so this is truly great. Okay, hone in on it. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so uh, I had a, tons and tons of yard stuff, like because I grew all these big ass things. And I had to cut them all back back for the winter. Yeah, more they could fit. Twice as much could fit in the bin, the the green bin, that gets picked up. So what I did was. So there's the, the, the garbage truck, the trash truck comes on both sides of the street, right? Not at the same time. It goes down one side of the street, picks up all the bins. Then like maybe 10, 20 minutes later, it comes back to the other side of the street because they go like, they zigzag down the neighborhoods, right? And mm -hmm. they go back, they double back. What you do, you put out your trash or any, trash, recycling, whatever you have too much of. They can't fit in your bin. You put out the bin. You have your guy pick it up on your side. Then you go bring the bin in and you go fill it back up again and put it on the opposite side of the street. That is actually brilliant. Dude. Ooh. Ooh. I, when I, the fact that it worked, I was like, this feels like a fucking scam, baby. Yeah. It's so good. That is a That's great a genius. idea. Yeah. Genius. yeah. Now, you, don't you have just to pay have to for... scope it out ahead of time to yeah. know which side they're going to go down first. That's true. Oh, uh, that's true. But uh, I need takes, to start. Doesn't take noticing. much research. Yeah, I need to start noticing. Right. Because it might not be your side. Right. It might be the other side. Might, might be, be first. So and then that's, you, you gotta just, put. Uh, just put it off. But if someone's got a problem with that, you'd be yeah. like, oh, you could just be like, what? What if someone confronted you about it and they caught you in the act? I would be like, this is what I'm doing, and you can do it too. Okay. Because it's not like they don't get charged extra mm -hmm. or anything. Yeah. Because it's just another can to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just another can. Because yeah. also most people put like so much crap in the trash. They put like paint and they put like uh, stuff that you're supposed to go to the site to dump. Yeah, you know? everyone's bad. Now you have a buddy who does. We'll get into throw tips in a second. But you have a buddy. Speaking about garbage trucks. Yeah. Um, you have a buddy who um, knows a lot about garbage trucks. Well, he doesn't know a lot about it, but he knows a lot. He likes them a lot. He likes them yeah. a lot, and he does. I really like his videos. That he you likes. do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even. I, uh, this is embarrassing, but I. Oh. I bought his merch. I really like his. Oh, that's his stuff, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah, his, that's stuff. his stuff. That's Wayne makes and that. And my son, it? who's obsessed with garbage trucks, loves this shirt. That's so oh, cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Kids yeah. like Wayne. Cool. Yeah. Wayne's a good dude. Is that his business? Um, no, he just he just is a big fan of garbage trucks and he yeah. pulls oh. them around. I like the art. Yeah. It's almost like yeah, he drew that. I think Wayne drew it, right? He drew yeah, it. I yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you if you're not if you're not familiar with Wayne, all of a sudden he's yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to see his stuff. Oh, you're gonna yeah, love yeah, it. yeah. He loves garbage trucks. Okay, yeah. that's your buddy. Yeah. Okay, good. He's he he's he's here. Wayne? Should I have him come in? Yeah. Hey oh, Wayne. Yeah. 
Wayne, will you Wayne, will you come in please? Oh <gasps> Wayne! Oh hi, what's up, y'all? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This is freaking cool. What what is this? Like we're just talking about your garbage trucks. Oh, I, I like I love garbage trucks. I freaking love garbage trucks. Nice. Honestly, a lot of people like email me saying like I don't like garbage trucks, but I, I do I like I do like garbage you trucks. You do actually like them. Why would I go outside, walk around, and get a honk? Why would a garbage truck driver who doesn't who doesn't really know me, why would he when I say do this, why would he honk if he did not like think that I didn't like garbage trucks? True. What does that mean? This is what if you this is international symbol is, for it's pulling, this, right? No, it's this. <laughs> it's, it's not the, it's this. Imagine well, you, it's not this. Imagine there's like a, a string up top. Because the, these trucks got a string and that's yeah, how you pull okay, the, pull the string. The horn, they pull it. You do this, and it will. They go honk. They do. Yeah. Sometimes I go honk honk. Yeah. Sometimes I just go. Hum. And sometimes you get. I got a triple one time. You, you got did. a triple? He has a. That made your day. Oh, it made. It is just. Uh, yeah, I was screamed. So how's the wife and the kids? Um, I just live with my grandma. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my grandma. I live with my grandma, and uh, we watch TV, have cereal, and I just look out for garbage trucks, and not just garbage trucks like uh, cement trucks or uh, paving trucks or uh, scoopers, pushers, diggers, loaders. What's a scooper? It's like one of these big old trucks. It has a thing on it. It's like a spoon, but it's made of metal, and it's just it gets in the ground. It'll just it'll take the ground, and it'll just you know pick it up like easier than you would pick up uh, a piece of a dirt that was the size of a, a, a you know, something small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, sure. st- they're strong. This is like okay. a freaking gosh darn, like, it's like a m- machine. That is, could, it could, you know what? If we didn't hear it all, it could drive right through and squish us all. We would be, well, nothing I can do because it just squished you down. Yeah. It's like a house had wheels and tank treads. It's just... Nice. Heck, it's freaking cool. Now, I, I know how much you like garbage trucks. Right, but I love garbage trucks. Lo, but do you you have a, a preference on the kind of truck, like a pickup truck that you would want? Mm-hmm. Like if it went down like like a category, like, you know, like a, a Chevy, a Ford, a Honda, uh, you know. I probably want a white truck, a truck mm. that's white, that's got like uh, numbers on it and stuff. Like why, a license why, plate? Why a white truck? Because then you could drive it to work to get into your garbage truck. Oh yeah! I went in a I went in a dump truck with my big pop once because he used to oh, he did. a dump truck. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dump trucks are good. Yeah, yeah. He he, cool. he used to 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 pick up loads and then dump them at different sites and stuff like that. And I yeah. went with him, and it was it was very interesting. I sat in in the truck. Oh and yeah, it's bumpy. Thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really bumpy. Mm-hmm. I I've only been in a garbage truck one time. Yeah. It was in yeah Las Vegas. Why were you, how did you get inside one? I went to the Waste Expo in Las Vegas <laughs> and I got to ride in an electric garbage truck nice. and the driver, he swore, he said some cool stuff. He said, if it shits, it gets, something like that. And he uh, let me honk the horn. Yeah, hold up, let me, let me time it with my fart. Go ahead. That's garbage from the body right there. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Wow, that's really uh, Go ahead, do the if horn. It shit, Wow, I would not be allowed to do that at home. Okay. My would grandma, your grandma get, whoop you? She she'd not whoop me. She'd just keep be like, Wayne, don't fart. Okay. Wayne, if you're farting, you got to change what you're eating. I'm sorry, Wayne. Well, I got to I got to go uh okay. I got to go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Wayne. All right, Wayne, thanks for coming I by. I got to go thanks pick for up coming a, by, and, Wayne. And, okay, hey, I'm hey, Don't your be stuff. such a stranger, oh, Wayne. Yeah, go to my friend Johnny's <laughs> website and get those Garmish, you can get those shirts that got all just sizes. Just my nipples. You just gotta, you gotta or Johnny Pemberton. It's on dog. Instagram. It's on linked oh. on the Instagram. Okay, cool. Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get see your ya. shirt today. All right, see you, Wayne. See you, Wayne. Well, that, that was cool that we got to. Oh, that was great. I like him a lot. To oh. see him for a bit. Yeah, he is a good guy. It's yeah. nice to take a little yeah, break just nice. now. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah. He's a cool guy, you know? Like, yeah, I, I liked him. He was I, really I, I'm glad that I got to meet him in person Me because too. I've been following for a while. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. I've seen, he's got videos out on the internet. Okay, Ryan, you said you do have some Frugal Bros tips? Yeah, we have some. Okay. Uh, do you want to read the first one? Sure. Uh, this one comes from 
Levi, take advantage of Amazon's return policy. Most things can be returned within 30 days. Ooh. So we have a rating system on um, on the Frugal Bros tips, whether or not it's one is good, right? Yeah, yeah. One, one is good. good. That's okay. like a gold star Frugal Bros tip. Right. That would be like one that you gave. Gold okay. star, right? Yep. Or gold scissors, however you want to look at it. Now, five would be that's just stealing. That's not a that's not a really being frugal. You're you're working the system to just steal something. I think it should have a triangle because there's also it should be a third axis where it's like, that's just how life works. Mm. Like, oh. like that one's sort of like, yeah, that's how returns work everywhere yeah. that has so like returns. a zero. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Is that a zero? Feels like that's a zero. Whoa. Like saying that okay. Amazon has return policies. Everywhere has a return policy. Johnny, is that a zero? I think it would be a zero. Okay, I mean, but it, it's not a it's not a mean thing. It's just more, like, no, more like it saying could go uh, negative. It could yeah, be yeah, negative. yeah, it could go negative. It could go negative. Okay, yeah. what's the next one? All right, this one comes from V from London. It says when you think you're finished with your toothpaste, use your scissors and cut the tube in half. There's always some extra toothpaste left. I get three to four days extra by this. That's actually pretty frugal. That's a good one. That's a pretty good tip. That's a pretty good one. I've done that with hand lotion. I have really dry hands. Oh, yeah. You cut, like, you cut it? I mean, you cut it. You're like a cutter? So, I'm not a... Well, let's just, just save that for later. Um, <laughs> yeah. I will cut, cut, if you get like nice hand cream, you know? Yeah. Right. You want to soak up as much yeah, as you can. Yeah, because I want that smell. I want yeah. that nice smell. Your yeah. hands look soft, too. Oh, they're rough and red. These look like shit right now. I look like a fucking... Like, like I've been working out in the... The Baltic Sea. No, you look. Good, you know buddy. the Baltic Sea. <laughs> so we give that a three. I would give that a two. Yeah, two. I, that's, that's I a, give that that's two. A, that's a two-y. Okay. Yeah, that's two. a good one. <clears throat> All right. Excuse next me. one. I'm a superintendent in New York City of a large building. For taking care of the building, they give me a free apartment, cable, and internet. I also order supplies for the building and order extra for myself: toilet paper, napkins, detergent, soap. I think it's called. Uh, that's what. Like, that's like. Um, here's something frugal. Have a job. <laughs> that's that's leaning towards a four or five for me, because you're just working the system to just order extra stuff on their dime. Yeah. Right. Is that kind of stealing? I mean, it sort of is. It sort of. But is. he works for the company. That's a hard one. Yeah, that's a hard one. Maybe you that's could use a, that as an excuse. Maybe yeah, that's like a for three. The maybe that's like a three. Yeah, four. it's like kind of middle of the road, three, four, yeah. three, four. There three are all these five. people who got busted not that long ago for doing something similar, and they were able to embezzle like millions of dollars over the course of twenty to thirty years. Did they win? No, they got caught, Ooh. and they got caught bad. Oh wow! But not not as lightweight as that. They were doing something like they had like a, they were just doing fake fake billing. That's the oh. oldest scam. Is oh, the, yeah. Oh, you just create a billing. fake invoice for a fake business, and you tr- overcharge. Really? Wait, yeah. Keep, keep going. I mean, all this. This is what this is what literally every business does. Like everyone's a ki- everyone is a criminal. All people who just bill them. Everyone, everyone's doing crime. <laughs> Steve starts taking notes yeah. in the court. Wait, you just, just bill them? Yeah, you just bill them. People bill insurance companies. You yeah, just you bill just bill them. Well, insurance companies are literally thieves. You owe me teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually speaking of that. How close are we to that? that? Pretty close. I think we're there now. Are we? Because someone just bought my album for oh. $400. What? Add it up. Add it up. So we have this ongoing thing on the okay. show just to, yeah, to I, get I you d- up. I, I just dropped an album, and they said if my band camp sales uh, surpass 1000 then I because I, my teeth are messed up. Okay. So that means I'd, I'll have to go to the dentist. Go to the dentist? Just the dentist, not the orthodontist. The dentist. Yeah. The dentist. He needs yeah. to get like some... X-rays taken and okay. then also oh, yeah. just cleaned. Just he hasn't been there in how many years? I don't remember. That's you gotta go. So. See, yeah. and just to throw it in my face today, he's oh, wearing wow. a first annual dental school pub crawl March 2006 shirt just to rub it in. That he hasn't what been to the about dentist. That, Johnny, I think it's uh, is that it's, a sign? It is a sign, but you know what they're gonna tell you though? What are they gonna say, Johnny? They're gonna say, CV. They're gonna tell you that you should not be. Chewing tobacco. See, I don't know if I could go then. Oh, but you're gonna go. You no, know, we I, know, we know hey, that you're brother, gonna say it. I can't give this up. Yeah, you don't have to this listen. This is to my them. lifeline. Is it? 
I love Why it. Why don't you uh, yeah, do uh, the, Who wants to be a millionaire? Do the he packets. calls tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What about those little packets everyone does? Like that's you know called what? I Zen. might go back to the. Yeah, See? I might go. Okay, I See? might go back. You're right. You're right. See? You're right. I mean, that stuff is obviously classic and it probably tastes better, but the Zen is. Yeah, you're you know, right. It's just. It's just this is the fa- the- this is the face he does when he's acknowledging what you're saying, but he's but we'll not, not going do to it. change. I will. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. You're right. Sure. Johnny, yeah. Johnny, you're absolutely right. You used to do Zen. Yeah. And then you, when did I you start doing tobacco? Pricey, man, and I went through them so fast. Oh, okay. I went through that like bubble gum. When did you like, start doing the regular tobacco oh, again? Years, man. You know? Years of years back on this. Well, because I wrestled in high school, and then it started back in like right. Yeah, fr- yeah, in the nineties, man. But isn't know? like Zen kind of new? Yeah, there's Zen, and there's this, the company called On, and they had um, you know, but there's only like it's all the same thing. Fifteen that come in, then I go through those so fast. Like yeah. this will last me a, like a week, and then the Zen will last me what two, two, three days, if that. Yeah. So this frugal brother tip, stick with this. Do we have time for one more for the challenge? We do. We do. All right. Uh, the last one was from Mike from NYC, by the way. Mike from uh, NYC, what up? All right. This one comes from Jim. Uh, whenever your, say, your controller, Xbox controller, charging cable, batteries, any of that stuff breaks, go to the store, buy the same thing, swap them out of the package, and return it. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's cold. A that's, that's a cold-blooded cold move. Woo! That's a bullseye. Because somebody else is going to get that yeah. probably. Yeah. If that's they repackage cold. that at Best Buy, that somebody else is probably going to get your dead your dead cell charger. charger. That's oh, cold. That's cold. That's, that, 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 that's cold. Ooh, that's, that's ice. Number one, baby. Ooh. That's a one, ice. baby. Wait, so you like it? Well, for him, it's good. Not for the person who buys the, the defect. <laughs> Dang. It's cold. That's, that's cold, cold though. Ooh. That's, ooh, 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 that's so that's a four or five, ooh. isn't it? That's a four or five. Uh, Where does that sound come from in life? I don't know. I love oh. it. You brought it here into our. But that's like a room. thing that I feel like I've heard someone say. In like a movie or like an old guy from like Puerto Rico, you know? Yeah. Like, I thought that was your thing. No. It's your thing now, though, here. Fuck yeah. It's, the sound, it here. it's the sound of a BLT, Maybe I baby. just, maybe it like transmuted yeah. in my brain. It really was just a guy going like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. and now I've changed it into this thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so that's a five, isn't it? That last one was like a five. No, it's like a three, because if you return it as defective, they'll send it back to the manufacturer. Oh. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Good. That's true. Well, I'd say 2.5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It's time for the challenge. So, guys, we know this about Johnny, that he's got a good buddy named Wayne that is really right. into garbage trucks. Right. And what we like to do is sometimes model the challenge after the guests or some of their life experiences, right? Now, this is the human garbage truck challenge, okay? The three of us are each going to have a 12-pack of sodas or pops, whatever you call them, okay. depending on your region. And we have a couple aquariums that are outside. The goal is to... We're going to bring them in here. The goal is to empty the cans into the aquarium. Right. And you have to crush the cans in four different ways. With your hands... that Three different ways. But it's four, four, and four. Hands is one. Feet is the other one. And butt is the third. Okay. So four cans you have to crush with your hands, four cans you have to crush with your feet, and four cans you have to crush with your butt. Damn. Okay? Once the first person who gets... The first two people who get the cans inside the garbage bag after they've emptied them out and crushed them properly wins. The loser is the last person who has not crushed their cans and transferred them to the aquarium. And they have to take a cup, a swig of the aquarium out of the the pop. And the aquariums have been sitting outside in my backyard for mm, probably a few weeks without being washed or whatever. So they're just like full of scum. Yeah. Okay. There's probably Bugs. Like, there's probably spider webs in them and different stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. Giardia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We not, could do that on here. 
Oh yeah. Really? Are we gonna take turns or is it? No, it's all at once. That's, it's it's a race. At the same time. And we use the same aquarium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll all be putting the different. We we've got oh. enough. We've got a couple aquariums. So that we'll we just put in we dump the soda and then we have to crush them. Either with either with our hand, hands. our feet, or our butt. But it's four, four, and four. So you have to do all of them. Yeah. Four, four, four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you put the empties in the trash bag. If they are not empty when you crush them, I will DQ you because it's going to make a mess that way. Oh, it's gonna yeah, it's going to make yeah. a huge mess. You got to yeah. empty, empty. So it. if you're DQ, that means you're just you're out. You automatically lose. Yeah. You you lose and you have to oh. drink the the fluid out. Because like of the if you aquarium. stomp a full can, it's going to explode everywhere. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a DQ. Is yeah. it is it cold at least the soda? Somewhat. They might be room temp. They are room temp. Okay. I don't want to play this. You don't want to play no. this. <laughs> I, would, I love you, Johnny, for that, brother. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey get, I don't want to do it either. Here, here, here's, here's, well, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah. Is let me do what I want? Yeah, this is your day. Johnny, you you could... Silence, you Steve. Set the, you silence. set the precedence. One no, second. No, 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 I need no. silence for one no. second. Johnny. Please. Please. Here's what I'm going to do. If Hold you, on. If you really... Okay. If you really, really in your heart of hearts don't want to do this, is it... I have to ask is it because of the fear of losing and having to do the punishment no i think it's because the entire thing yeah me too like the uh the squishing of the cans with my yeah. butt it's not bare butt doesn't matter yeah. it's a it's a piece of metal yeah it's metal it's uh it's gonna get on my pants it's gonna get on yeah. my my shoes it's probably gonna soak through my underwear it might even hurt my asshole mm -hmm. um i don't want to have to cut my hands I always if somebody cuts my hands already from like using knives and machetes and stuff and I'll cut them again probably also I just the idea of also losing is just uh, just drinking that I would have it would make me really sick mm -hmm. I don't want to get sick I don't want to have like extreme diarrhea for a week and maybe I have to go to the hospital because of a because I drank a bunch of um mm -hmm. Of this uh, bacteria that's being fueled with sugar, so it's like pumping the bacteria up. Now it's like this super bacteria. Yeah. And I have like this terrible. Mm. I'll be vomiting and retching. I probably start vomiting blood and shitting blood. I would get yeah. like so sick. I have to go to the hospital, and I have to like, you know, have to bill you mm. um, for that. That's and it would just totally like you know one of those things yeah. where, even if I did win, I'd be like, oh, at what cost did I win? Because yeah. I, I won, and I, me winning inflicted that on to. To someone else, they ha they lost. It's like at what, at what cost? Yeah, I'm totally on the same page as you, Johnny. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> what will make you happy? Since Johnny and I don't want to do it, what would make you happy? Shampooing, give, giving me a like a soda pop shampoo. What? <laughs> well, you would prefer that. Well, shampoo my hair. I mean, just because I, I, I would just, just to get some kind of content out of all the soda. You can like cut me with a knife. What? I would allow that. What? <laughs> you, can, like, cut, you can like cut a part Johnny. of my arm and my leg with a knife. Into the aquarium? No, well anything. If you want me to bleed into the aquarium, I'd do that. I'd rather just get cut with a clean blade. Then do the soda pop chip. Yeah, honestly. Cause that's gonna heal up. Yeah, it's a clean cut. Wow. I can I can wash it. I can suture it if it's deep enough. And it's like you know, it's a controlled thing. But this yeah. is a wild card. I don't want to do this wild card. Yeah, there you go, dude. Totally. Um, what would make you happy? You want to shampoo my hair with soda pop or something in the aquarium? Would that make you happy? <laughs> Ryan, how do I even respond to this? I mean, because they want to see something because I don't want, I'll take, you know, I totally agree with him, but I know you guys like invested and you guys planned for this grand finale of a challenge. And I know it'll, it'll, it'll kind of like, it'll irk you that we didn't do anything with the soda pop. So I'm trying to make you happy, him happy, Brian happy. I can bend, the viewer. I, I can bend on the punishment. But, but I don't want to crush anything either. Why not? Why not? It, I don't it's know. Not... It just doesn't seem fun to me. Uh, what's up with these sodas? These uh, yeah. are they like old They're soda? They're brand new. They're brand new so from you the bought store. Them just for this? Yeah. What, yeah. what kind of soda? We're talking about like Shasta. No, like Coca Cola. There's there's Shasta. There's yeah. different. There is Shasta. Uh, there might be. Fanta. I Fanta. do like sh yeah. sh Shasta. Cherry Cola, Cherry Coca Cola, Fanta, and 
uh, and Canada Dry. I'm trying dry. to stay away from sodas too because I'm like I switched over to sparkling water because I don't want the calories from like even because I know I'll probably most likely lose. Yeah, and I, it'll, it'll take away from like what I'm trying to do with my my diet. Yeah, like, your I'm teeth, not trying to drink soda. Like, I have sparkling. Yeah, my teeth. They'll rot my teeth out before I go to the dentist. Why do you have these aquariums out there, anyways? Like, I, what happened well, to the we've fish? Used, we've thrown up in them and. Is that what they're for? It's no, like but we've got yeah, we've yeah, we've thrown up in them a lot. Yeah. Why? Why are you throwing up a lot? Oh, just past challenges. Oh, past so many challenges. So many we've challenges. Thrown up. Yeah, there's throw up in there. Oh, oh throw guys. Up. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in to another episode of Sis and Bros. Definitely check out Johnny's we're road gonna, dates. We're gonna okay? end, we're gonna end with a dance break. Uh, yeah, because that's the only solution is to. Yeah, uh, will you dance with us, Johnny? Yeah, I'll dance. With okay, you. let's go in the middle. Okay, so, do do? oh, um, I forgot the music. I'm actually going to yeah. add it in a we'll post. Just, yeah, we'll so like we'll just dance yeah. in, in silence. So that that thing will be like. <laughs> are you dancing at home along with us? <laughs> we hope you are. And I hope you are cracking and hoping a, a ice cold pop right now and pouring one out for the challenge that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm pants my <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Check out Steve's new album, Puerto Turnus. Check out his road dates. Yeah, I gotta come to Chicago in February. Yes. Mid February. <laughs> come check out Jeremiah's road dates. All right. Yeah. That's the right there, right on the screen. Love oh, you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Scissor Brothers! Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and uh, to be honest, I was a little bit bummed that there's no challenge, but uh, let's not be negative about it. You know, it's not the Scissor Bros way. It was still an awesome episode with Johnny Pemberton, and uh, I'm a little offended about how he, you know, was trying to culturally appropriate and smell like a giraffe sitting next to me, but, you know, at least he was trying. He was doing his best. Anywho, um... A lot of stuff going around this holiday season. Um, some people are getting the common house colds, but for me, your boy Chlamydia, straight up running rampant through my draft community. Um, I hope there's a cure. I think there is for that one. I've had it like six times. It usually just goes away. It burns or something when I shit or I don't know. Um, hope you guys are well. Um, uh, check us out on Patreon and happy holidays and coming episodes soon. Love you. Bye. I take napkins from Starbucks. As many as I can carry, bitch. I take napkins from Starbucks. And would do it even if I was rich. <laughs>